Okay, so now in this video, we will round numbers to the nearest thousands by rounding off. And so in the previous video, when we were rounding numbers to the nearest um, hundreds, we talked about all of the numbers that go from 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 99. And we saw that essentially all the numbers, essentially 1, 2, 49, all of these numbers are rounded to essentially a zero when you're rounding to the nearest hundreds. And all the numbers from 50, 51, 52, all the way up to 99 are essentially all of these numbers are rounded to 100 when you're rounding to the nearest hundreds, basically. And we saw essentially how that happens. Now, the same essentially happens when you're, when you're rounding numbers to essentially the same procedure essentially you can, you can follow. When you're rounding numbers from 1 to 999, so the numbers essentially 1 to 999, when you're rounding to the thousands place value, so then again you can imagine that there is essentially a zero over here and basically a thousand over here. So there is all of these, there is a zero, there is a thousand. And 1 to 999 are essentially, these are essentially all the numbers from 1 to 999. And so, so essentially you can imagine that 5, essentially the number, let's say that the number essentially 500 is halfway between 0 and 1000, right? And 499... 499 is right over here. 1 is right over here. 501 is right over here. And 999 is right over here. Right? So this is, this is 1. This is 499, which is right next to 500. Then you have 501, which is again next to 500. And then there is 999, which is next to 1000. And then there is essentially 500, which is exactly halfway between 0 and 1000. So then again, by the same logic, you can say that essentially when you're rounding essentially all of these numbers from 1 to 999, all of these numbers from 1 to 499, 1 to 499, all of these are rounded to a zero, right? And all of these numbers that go from 500 all the way up to 999, all of these numbers, including 501, 999, they are closer to the thousand, so they are rounded to a thousand. And then the number 500, which is exactly halfway between 0 and, a th and, and the 1,000, is then rounded to, essentially, again, to the 1,000, right? So that, that's, essentially, that's, that's essentially all about that. And you can, of course, um, I mean, if you, if you don't want to consider the distance, essentially, which one is closer to what and so on and so forth you can of course you can of course consider the numbers for example the one the one you're rounding to the thousands place value so there is the ones place value there is the tens place value there is the hundreds place value and that's the uh, thousands place value right so if I'm rounding to the thousands place value, and if there is a zero, there is a zero over here, I would round down. Rounding down means means that the zero remains a zero, so the number becomes just a zero, right? Meaning that the number actually becomes essentially a zero over here, and all of these digits would be would be essentially replaced by zeros. So then that would be zero 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 zero, so which is essentially nothing but a zero. So for example, 1 is rounded to a 0 when, when you're rounding to the thousands place value. The same goes for 2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. And until you get to, for example, 
to the two digit numbers for example 12 right in the case of 12 you have the ones place value you have the tens place value the hundreds place value is a zero the, th the thousands place value is a zero right so then again when you're rounding to the thousands place value if you take a look at the digit next to that which is which is, which is still a zero you would round down which means that the zero remains a zero and then all of these three digits are replaced by zero again essentially you would come up with zero 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 which is nothing but a zero so a 12 is rounded to a zero when you're rounding to a to thousands place value and then all of and the same goes for essentially for all of the two digit numbers all the way up to 99 and then basically you suppose that you come to essentially you get to some number to a three digit number like for example a 112 you have the ones place value the 10 the hundred and the thousands place value right the thousands place value and so essentially what happens is that when it when it comes to the thousands place value then i'm rounding essentially to this digit and if i take a look at the digit next to that which is a one i'm rounding down because the digit is less than five basically so then rounding down the zero remains a zero and then all of these digits are replaced by zero so zero 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 which essentially is a zero so 112 is rounded to a zero when you're rounding to the to the thousands place value right and then basically you go all the way up to essentially we were somewhere in the three digit numbers so you go all the way up to 200 300 400 even all the way up to 499 still because of because four is less than five you would round down you would end up with a zero which means that which is why i've written essentially all of these numbers all the way up to 499 as are rounded rounded to a zero but then the 500 essentially you have the ones tens and and the, and the hundreds place value and then the thousands place value is a zero right when you're rounding to this place value if you take a look at the digit next to that which is a five which is greater than or equal to five you would round up meaning the one essentially becomes as the zero becomes a one and then these three digits are replaced by zeros so the number becomes a thousand right and then again the same goes for all of these numbers that go from 501 all the way up to 999 meaning that for example let's say 976 rounding to the thousands place value which is essentially a zero so if i take a look at the digit next to that which is a nine i should round up the one essentially the zero becomes a one and then these three digits are replaced by zeros so the number essentially becomes a thousand again so that's basically all um, essentially all about all of these numbers that go from one to nine ninety nine nine hundred ninety nine right now we can take a look at a couple of examples okay so now let's take a look at a couple of examples so let's say that you have for example the number you have the number for example 2573 and you want to round to the and essentially all of these numbers in this list we want to round them to the thousands place value okay so if i take a look at the digit over here it's five which is greater than or equal to five which means that i round up the two becomes a three and then the, all of these digits will be replaced by zero so you would end up with a three thousand if you have six thousand four hundred four hundred four rounding to the thousands place value the, the next digit is a four less than five i I'm, I'm going to round down which means that the number becomes a six thousand seven thousand eight hundred 
five. So essentially the rounding to this place value, the next digit is an eight greater than five. Rounding up, so the seven becomes an eight and then all of these digits become zeros, right? Or 53,000. 552 rounding to the thousand to the to the thousands place value this is one ten hundred and thousand right so the next digit is a five which is greater than or equal to five so i'm going to round up which means that the three becomes a a a, a four and the five of course remains a five so this is a four and then three zeros that's that's uh, 40 54,000 and the and the original number was 53,552 right let's say that your number is for example 53,552 rounding to the thousands place value one ten hundred and thousand so then the the, the the digit next to three is a five which means that it's greater than or equal to five rounding up so the number essentially the three becomes a four so the five remain remains a five the three remain becomes a four and then all of these three digits are rounded to zeros which means that the the number becomes a fifty four thousand you mean you need to of course be careful about the number of zeros that you place after the rounded digit because if I, for example, if I keep the five as five and then three rounded, rounded up becomes a four. And then by mistake, for example, if I place two zeros here, the number becomes a 5,400 instead of a 54,000. So there is a whole lot of difference between that's around 40,000 difference between the two numbers, right? Now, let's say that let's say that essentially that your number is a 65,437 rounding to the thousands place value the next digit is a four less than five so i'm going to round down which means that the number becomes a 65,000 right and 3,499 rounding to the thousands place value the next digit is a four less than five rounding down the number essentially becomes a three thousand right so that's that's essentially about that and then doing a couple more examples now these examples are um, basically for example let's say that you have a number for example seventy five thousand eight hundred forty 847 and you want to approximate you want to approximate you want to approximate to the nearest to the nearest for example tens these are these are important i mean if um, you, you need to of course learn the language of estimation and approximation and all of this and in the vocabulary in the language of, of, of estimation you would you would you would have you would have words like for example estimate estimation approximate approximation to the nearest tense for example what that means is that when you when when, when you're asked to approximate to the nearest tens that means that essentially you want to um, you want to essentially um, you want to estimate for ex that means that that's the same thing as saying essentially estimate estimate for example to the nearest to the nearest tens by rounding off by rounding by rounding off 
So either you could say, for example, estimate to the nearest tens by rounding off, or you could say approximate to the nearest tens, for example, by rounding off, or even if you say approximate to the nearest tens, that means that, of course, you would do that by, of course, rounding off, right? Now, in order to do that, then, of course, you want to, to approximate to the nearest tens, right? Now, that means that essentially, in the case of this number, all of these digits to the left-hand side of the tens place value remain the same, meaning 7, 5, 8 remains the same. The 4, you have to decide whether you want to round up or down. Because the next digit is a 7, which is greater than 5, you would round up, which means that the 4 becomes a 5, and then instead of 7, you would place a 0. So then 75,847 becomes 75,850. If you want to approximate to the nearest, now the same number, the same number 75,000, 847 if you want to approximate to the nearest hundreds this is tens this is approximating to the nearest tens to the nearest hundreds which would be this place value so then you would take a look at the four and uh, since it's a it's a digit less than five so then you would round down meaning that the eight remains an eight 7 and 5 remain the same. 8 rounding down, rounding down remains the same, which means that it remains essentially an 8. And then these two digits are, round, are rounded to a, to a 0. This is to essentially 200s. This is essentially 200s, meaning you are approximating to the nearest 100s. So then the number 75,847, it becomes 75,800. The same number, 75,847 approximating to the nearest thousands. So this is one ten hundred and thousands. The next digit is an 8, which means that you have to round up. So the 7 remains the 7, 5 rounding up becomes a six and then all of these digits are replaced by zeros so then essentially 75,847 rounded to the nearest thousands rounding to the nearest thousands becomes a 76,000 or for example the same number 75,847 rounding to the nearest ten thousands ten thousand would be this place value over here the next digit would be a five which is greater than or equal to five meaning you round up so the seven essentially becomes an eight and then all of these four digits are replaced by zero so you, you place four zeros over here which means that seventy five thousand eight hundred forty seven becomes an 80,000, that is 10 thousands, right, so that is basically that, so that's, that's all about this video, so I'll see you in the next video, and thank you.